Woohoo! I am excited. This is. Hi, I'm Ron. And I'm Marie. Ten years ago, we bought a broken down trawler for $4,000. And nothing worked, not even the kitchen sink. After a lot of hard work and help from our friends and family, we moved aboard Elixir full time. And now we are cruising this old boat while the work and fun continues. So subscribe and give us a like and come along with us cruising this old boat. We have arrived at Cape Coral, Florida. We have traveled 463 nautical miles so far. This is the Weston Hotel right behind me. We're in Glover Bight. It's a great anchorage as you're traveling the uh, Gulf ICW, or I guess I should say transiting from the Okeechobee Waterway to the Gulf ICW. Walking down the avenue, hold and take a man for two. I could eat it all myself, but then I would need your help. So meet me at the corner shop where they sell your favorite pop. I'll be there till you show up. And if you don't, I'll die on the spot. Cause I just can't fight the feeling. No, I just can't fight the feeling anymore. And I don't want to be calling you. But I just can't fight the feeling anymore. Kiss me in the rain tonight. So Marie needed to get some prescriptions filled. And that's always a problem when you're traveling full time on the water. But we found a Walgreens, somewhat accessible by water. It's about a block off of a canal, this canal that I'm in. Um, but there's no public landing area, so that building at the very end of the canal, the canal runs directly into that building, is an office building, like dental offices and stuff. And uh, so he just pulled up to their dock and Marie jumped off and cut through their yard to the road. And she's gonna walk to Walgreens. Um, somewhat not proper thing to do, but you know, what do you do? You got to get your medication. So uh, anyway, um, we're way up in the canals here just to get to this point um, from Elixir's anchored way out in the bay. It took us about 45 minutes to dinghy up here. Um, and I'm going to go around into another canal and see if there's another place to extract her from. She's going to hit Walgreens and the post office and uh, and then I'm gonna pick her back up. <laughs> so we don't wanna be rude to the same people twice. So we're gonna see if there's <laughs> another place where she can get back on the dinghy without having to go through their yard again. Some of the uh, adventurous things we do on a boat. <laughs> okay. All 
Alright, I think I found a good extraction point for her. It's uh, in between some apartment buildings and they've got a dock. So I think she can walk between those two buildings, get down to the dock and get in the dinghy. So now I just gotta wait out here until she's done and gives me the green light to come in and get her. I think I found a place to just lay low until she's ready for extraction. Nice little seawall here, two vacant lots, privacy fence on one side, so hopefully nobody will mind me just sitting here until she gives me the call. It's just like Mission Impossible. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. All right, I got the phone call from Marie. It's time for extraction. Let's go. Well, we are back on the boat. We were gone about four hours, a little over four hours. We did walk through some shops and grab some lunch at Rum Runners. That was pretty good. And uh, then we went up and, and got Marie's prescription, got some letters mailed at the post office, which was a bonus plus. And, uh, and we're back. So four hours well spent, but that's a way to entertain yourself for the day, I guess. Go to the drugstore. <laughs> Woohoo! I am excited. This is my airman certificate. Y'all may have noticed that several years back, I quit flying the drone. I used to get a lot of comments about the drone footage. I know y'all enjoyed it, so I really, really hated to quit flying the drone, and you may have wondered why. The reason why is, first thing that happened was the FAA started to interpret the rules that if you were using your drone footage in a video that was posted on YouTube, then that was commercial and you had to have a commercial pilot's license to fly your drone. I didn't have a license. I wasn't making any money at the time um, off of YouTube footage and they said it doesn't matter if there's the possibility that someday you'll make money off of it. That's commercial and you have to have a license. So that grounded my drone right there. Uh, they were handing out thousand dollar fines to people for flying their drones. I didn't have a thousand dollars to hand over to them, so I just quit flying my drone. And I planned on getting this so that I could legally fly. In the meantime, they came out with a new rule that said only drones that, that transmit an identification, a radio identification that tells that anybody who can listen who owns that drone and where it's at and things about the drone so that if you're violating the rules, they know where to come get you. Well, I had an older drone. <laughs> I say older. It was only about a year old at the time. I don't even think it was that old. It was a fairly new drone at the time, but it didn't have that, that radio identification because there'd never been a rule requiring it. So at that point, you know, I either need to pay thousands of dollars for a new drone or I opted for and was wise to do so, wait to see what DJI did because I had a DJI drone 
and sure enough, this last year, uh, they came out with a, a software upgrade to my specific drone that allowed me to turn on radio identification. So I had to go, it, it was about a four hour long process, but I got it working and my, my drone now transmits the required radio identification. So once that happened, I rushed out, I took a course on how to get a commercial uh, drone pilot's license and, uh, and recently took it while we were in Stewart. I went to a facility there, took the test and passed and my certificate just came in. So I am now allowed to fly drones, yes. So I got some drone footage for you now, just a quick teaser, uh, but expect a lot more drone footage to start coming. I really wanted this before we went up into the river system. Uh, as you know, we're on our way to see if we can make it to Oklahoma. Um, so the rivers, I just understand that they're really pretty and I wanted to fly the drone in there. So I'm really pumped that I got this certificate in time to start flying my drone for that trip. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.